guys, I'm back with another video today in a different location. This is my living room. Yay. So today I'm making a video on the costs of owning your own horse. Horses are expensive. Riding's just an expensive sport. That's just how nature made it. And currently it is about 85 degrees outside and I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but it's a cool sweatshirt. It has Bell and Gravity on it. Okay, so let's get started with the video. It's all because of you. All because of you. It's all because of you. All because of you. I know that if the sky would fall, I'd survive it all because of you. There are truly lots of costs that go into owning a horse, but I'm just going to name some of the more basic ones that you need to initially know before you buy a horse. The horse, the cost of the horse is pretty expensive depending on what you want. Um, you can get like a project horse for like a couple hundred, I believe, like a quarter horse, or you can go big right off the bat and get like a regular, like $2,000 horse. Or I know this girl who, um, She's the daughter of um, the company Dell, and she just bought a $400,000 horse. <sighs> I would, like, die if I had a $400,000 horse. The next price is board, which can be super-duper expensive, depending on where you live, or super-duper cheap. Where I live, I live in Missouri. It's usually about 300 per month, depending on where you are and like what kind of board you want. Like at uh, my barn, we have condos, which are super duper expensive, but they're really cool. They have like their own little pasture and like a stall attached to them. And then there's pasture board and then like stall board. Uh, gravity's on stall board. So board depends on what you want and different barns, different areas, different stuff like that. There's different factors that like go into it. That's a big price because that comes per month. So it's not just like $300, it's $300 per month, like per 30-day period. Next thing is you need to get your horse's feet trimmed or get shoes every six to eight weeks. And that can be about $100 depending on the type of farrier and the type of shoes you want for your horse. Um, Gravity is currently on Epona shoes, which are more expensive than the average shoe because they're rubber not metal and there's a whole bunch more stuff that goes into it like putting it on there's like glue and nails and art mud and all this type of good stuff there's the vet which is annual shots once a year which are about a hundred dollars more or less depending on like your vet and where you are again and like what kind of shots you need for your horse teeth floating can also be done by a vet it's about two hundred fifty dollars and for horses, like, like 5 to 20-ish, they should be done at least once a year. And then for horses over 20, it should be about twice a year. Lessons, if you take lessons, they're about $30 a week, depending on trainer and type of lesson. And whether it's, like, a group or, like, a solo. Unless you don't take lessons, which is cool, too. Tack, that can range, like, anywhere, depending on what kind of tack you want. It can be, like... Range for a few hundred to like a few thousand collectively. I know mine are like a few thousand collectively. Like, ah, I've got so much tag. I'm a tag for Clothing, um, I know for English, there's like breeches, helmet, gloves, spurs, polo shirts, uh, belts, half chaps, tall boots, socks, anything really. It's just, wow, there's so much like, uh, I always need something else in my life. Like, ah, I can't even, it's crazy. And that can range, you know, depending on brand and stuff. So I didn't even put a price on there because you don't really like need everything to ride, you know. Medical emergencies, those can cost a fortune. Like, it's crazy. Like, if your horse like stabs itself like Gypsy did um, a while back, you know, that was like a thousand dollar vet bill right there. You know, medical emergencies do happen in... You just want to be, like, financially prepared that something horrible could happen, you know? Like, even if your horse is stalled, something could still happen. I know this girl, and she had her horse tied to a stall, 
and she was grooming him, and something happened, and he spooked, and he ripped the stall door off and took off, and it was still, like, attached to him, like the stall door was, and so he was, like, running, running through, like, the property with this stall door attached to him, and it, like, kept hitting him, and, um, you know, they eventually caught him, and his legs were so torn up, and they're so lucky nothing was, like, broken or anything, because it was, like, really bad, and, wow, he had to go to, like, the hospital and everything. It was crazy. Shows, there's, like, entry fees, trailing fees, and then, like, food, because everyone gets hungry at shows, I don't know, you know. Regular stuff, such as, like, medical sprays, like, vetricin, creams, you can get hoof polish, fly spray, shampoo, detangler, treats, stuff like that. So there's basically just like a lot of costs that go into owning a horse, but trust me, it is so worth it. Don't buy a horse unless you know you can afford it, because there are lots of people that do that, and then they have to end up like selling their horse, and it's just like devastating. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment below, thumbs up. Go subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye!